This is the timeless story of hearing loss. I got to the place where I would say, well, what did you say? I began to feel self-conscious, and I would be in meetings and I could not hear. My first hearing aids, I used to do like this with my hair and make sure I hid them. You know, I never noticed it until I was told I should go in and get it checked. How are you doing today? I think for a lot of people, it's a combination of not wanting to acknowledge hearing loss, um, but also genuinely not really being aware of how much their hearing is declining. It's easy to blow off and say, well, I hear what I want to hear. But that's what hearing loss is, is that you can't hear clearly, not so much you can't hear. It's what we call the custom hearing aids. I think we're finally getting past the stigma that hearing loss is a condition of aging. It's a medical condition. Treating it is actually good for your physical and your mental health. Hearing is definitely a key for my survival. Your ability to communicate with your friends, family members, loved ones. I mean, that's all predicated on being able to hear someone and communicate effectively. And that's what fundamentally hearing gets to. Yeah, that one bird you hear now, that's, I can hear that loud and clear. <laughs> I would definitely say it's really important to get treatment and it's better for everybody. Why did I wait so long? I have no idea.